Callum Yates, who's on the first leg, has to Jonathan Borlay. And Dylan Borlay. And then, two times when the lives were similar, and times it all seemed easier. Now, assemble soon. It's a very difficult one. Don't be afraid. I'll be the one to guide you through this and the place of May. Hudson Smith just, well, he just tied up completely. He tried to lunge. He lost his form. He lost everything in the final stages. He's a better athlete than that. And then in the end, when he got through the line, that baton went to the floor. And I'm telling you, he's very disappointed. And look at this. Looks so comfortable at this stage. But look at the cadence on Borle. And look on the near side, the pole going very well. And Melko, Poland always do well in 4 by 4 races. But that was a surprise. I must say it was a surprise. Belgium get the gold, Poland the silver, and Great Britain and Northern Ireland take the bronze. And it was down to the Borle brothers once again. What a talented family. There's a sister as well, and she's a talented athlete. But uh, mum and dad, very proud of their boys today because uh, they have been a very, very powerful part of becoming European champions. The Netherlands, well, they couldn't do it on the day, could they? They were in seventh place, and uh, nothing they could do about that. But uh, there it is, Belgium, the gold medalist, the European lead time, a 3-0-1-10. Poland get the silver, a season's best, 3-0-1-18. And Great Britain and Northern Ireland, also a season's best, but 3-0-1-44. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
not leaving him too much to do. And I tend to agree with you. I think the Belgians do look the class act in this particular race. Yes, it just really depends just sort of how good the ball is on. I mean, on their best ball, no question. First leg runner is Conrad Williams. What's run for Belgium? Czech Republic. Good runner for Poland too. Karol Zalewski. He's running well right out there in five. And then Ireland on the outside. So it's what's run for Belgium. Who's yielded the lead to the Polish athlete Zalewski. Then just the nation really Ireland. A bit of a, oh no, Ireland up there as well. But it is Poland who lead round. They've got their best runner of course on this leg. So much depends on these tactics, but it's a good run by Rutram, that will help when he comes to the ball lays. He's in second place, Williams isn't there, so well the Britons one might expect, but he's having to run up very wide all the way around, misjudge that badly, so Britain, the best place on this race, they're left in last place, as the poles are flying, and they've got Rafa Lomelko. So Poland looking really good, and then this is Dylan Morley going for Belgium, a song from the Czech Republic on their third leg. Poland, Belgium, Czech Republic. Poland well clear and they've got two good runners to come in Kravchuk and Kuzvina. Maybe not quite as good as the top two though. See what the ball is can do. That may be narrowing a bit and the crowd giving huge support for the Czechs. Just got to keep in check and what can Maslak do on the last leg? Saw will hand over to Tessa but out front it's Poland. Zavina. Then we now have Jonathan Morley for Belgium. It's really spread out. Most of those three teams are one player for the rest of the field. And we're way back to Ireland and Russia and Britain. And those are three nations there. Well, out of it, it seems. So, right up front, it's Poland with Kravchuk flying and then Christina. And then Jonathan Morley. will hand over to Kevin Morley. Kevin, a champion in his own right, of course. Poland's lead being narrowed down a little bit, and the Czechs are doing well. And Jan Tassel's running well for the Czechs, and remember, they've got Maslak to come on the last leg. Poland, it all seems clear-cut, but I don't think it's going to be. Kuzvina takes over. Then we have Jonathan Borle, and then Maslak will never have heard cheers like this, and he can... It's a huge gap he's got to have a go at. He's a very experienced runner, he'll know what he's got to do, but it is a long, long way. But look at uh, Kevin Borle now, narrowing the gap on Kuzovina of Poland. Had a good year last year. The most experienced runner here is Kevin Borle. I think Maslek's got a job to narrow that. He's still far too far behind, surely. Let's see. Kuzovina for Poland. Kevin Borle for Belgium, the three Borle brothers running together. Can they bring Belgium for the gold medal? There's still the pole, but Kevin Borle has timed it. And Kevin Borle comes up to win. Kuzovina takes Poland for second. Jan Maslak gets yet another medal for the Czech Republic. He had too much to do, but he did it really well. Russia, Britain and Ireland. And that's a fantastic performance. The European record has gone 302.87. The championship record is 305.50. The European record is 303.01. And that has gone. And three brothers have taken gold. Well, we'll have to look back through the statistics books to see whether it, there was any other relay team let it, in the history of the European Championships that sported three brothers, let alone one that won a medal and let alone one that won the European title. Look at that. European record, 3.02.87 for the Belgian team. Well, really, that was a terrific last leg from Kevin Borley, the former European champion outdoors really really had a lot to do I and mean, the poles were streaking away and they put together a very solid quartet and they we probably underestimated what they were capable of very slightly but with two men in the
United States and Jamaica side by side in six and seven. The Belgian Dylan Borle has gone out fast. Also Verberg. And on the inside in three, the Bahamas Ramon Miller getting huge support from the crowd. There's David Verberg powering down the back straight. And he maybe has the lead in lane six. But also going well in three is Miller. It's United States and Bahamas as they come around the second bend. United States have the advantage. Verberg will be standing hardly over to Tony McQuay. Rasheed, Rasheed McDonald is trying for all his work to stay with him. And on the outside, Borle is running a really good leg. But as they come up now towards the handover, United States are going to hand over in front. In second place, it's going to be tight. Jamaica and Belgium together. So off and running is the USA. Belgium in hot pursuit. USA have got a really good runner on this second leg. in Tony McQuay, the world championship for the And he has gone out very hard. Experienced men in the world for the United States. He's got something like seven meters. Tremendous. 